How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Bear Reviews. Back with another review. Um, yeah, a little, uh, have a little waste time going on right now. Half a wasting time in the form of Funky Buddha's Floridian. Um, this is a uh, third Funky Buddha beer I think I've reviewed so far uh, out of a pack that um, was sent to me by Funky Buddha. So thank you very much, guys, for sending it off. Uh, super excited to give it a whirl because I'm a big Hefe guy. It's a, my probably. What I typically use as a gateway beer for people. Um, sometimes you cut through the IPA tour. Uh, my uh, roots are in um, Belgium, and German, and European type beers. So, yeah. This is one I usually get people all addicted and shit. So, yeah. Um, as far as what it says on the bottle, Funky Buddha. Um, Floridian. Uh, find the goodness within Hefeweizen. Uh, or Hefeweizen, sorry, for you fucking grammar nerds out there. Uh, Flight point two percent alcohol by volume. Government warning shit over here. Um, here you go. Suntan for your soul. Our unfiltered and refreshing German style wheat beer is full on flavor yet light on the palate. Authentic Hefeweizen, Hefeweizen yeast creates the compelling aromas of banana, citrus, and cloves while the all wheat and malt body perfectly captures the brilliance of a golden Florida sunset. Pour into a Pilsner glass. That's not a Pilsner glass um, at 30 degrees, and it's not 38 degrees, so there you go. That's the way I like it. Uh, Labels, it's cool. I like, um, you know, Funky Buddha's labels look pretty cool. You know, new school in style, um, not uh, overtly offensive. Pretty pretty cool. I dig it. Yeah, let's see what the sucker has to offer. Okay. Well, first things first. Color-wise, pretty fucking spot on right there. Um, a little bit darker orange, a little bit hazier, but you get a nice yellow color with a hint of your orange, nice haze to it. A little bit clearer than what I'd like to be. Subtle carbonation, finger and a half, white head, uh, decently creamy top to it, pretty good back bubble. So, yeah. She looks like one. A little bit light on the light side, but she looks like a jefe. So let's see what she smells like. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. You definitely get the um, atypical, um, you know, jefe... Um, spiciness aroma out of the nose. You know, a little bit of, uh, they said in there, you definitely get some clove, maybe even a little bit of coriander, a little pepperiness in there. Ever so slightest bit of banana, not to regurgitate what's on the label, but that's pretty much what's there. Um, a little bit of a pale malt going on there, like a two row, something like that. And, uh, yeah, it smells pretty nice. Uh, smells atypical of the style. Um, other than that, maybe a little kind of bubblegum stuff going on in there. Yeah. Smells pretty good. It smells a little bit more Americanized and German as they cut on a label, but it's not such a bad thing, you know? So, yeah. She smells like a Hefe. She looks like a Hefe. Let's see if she is a Hefe. Cheers. Banana. Definite bubblegum. Really rich and weedy. Weediness to it, not like weedies, like you know, uh, cereal, but there's a definite wheat characteristic to it. Graininess to it, slight nuttiness to it, decent body, which had a little bit more unfilteredness to it, a little bit more body going on. Definitely has um, definite characteristics of a German Hef, but it's just kind of missing a mark a little bit. Like I said, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's a bit more Americanized. So if you're looking for an atypical, traditional, um, German-style Hefe, this is probably not it. But if you're looking for something a bit more Americanized, um, it has decent flavors to it, especially if you want to go more uh, grain-heavy as opposed to um, that spiciness. It does have that um, uh, pepperiness, does have that kind of like clovey banana and definitely like a bit of bubblegum to it, but you're definitely getting a bit more wheat character than you typically get from Hefe. So... If that's what you're looking for, you look a little more grain heavy, then this is definitely for you. Mm. Definitely crushable. I can drink a bunch of these, you know. Definitely a barbecue beer. Um, maybe not a ton of them. A little bit sweeter than what I like in my half A's, but um, yeah, not too shabby. Rating wise, I give it an 82. Uh, 82 overall. Um, just kind of missed a mark for me in a couple different areas. But overall, nice beer. Definitely a summer beer. It's something that. Um, like I said, if you're definitely grain forward, you would um, uh, be into, um, especially if you like a little bit more sweetness, which you're gonna get from that uh, kind of graininess. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, value and availability. You can skip over that whole part because I didn't pay for it. And we can't get it. So there you go. Um, Lead two overall. If you like what we like this, if you like your Americanized wheat beers, um, I don't want to say Blue Moon um, because that's a little bit more, you know, big beer, adjuncty, whatever the hell you want to call it kind of thing. But it'd definitely be one uh, level or so past that. It's kind of like a stepping stone in, in, into getting somebody into, uh, quote unquote, the word I hate, craft beer. Um, and, but yeah, if you like, um, if you like Americanized wheat beers, basically American wheats as opposed to you know, German styles definitely be a beer for you. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, and all four of those places if you want to check us out anywhere else. Yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice Americanized Hefe right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.